Ladies and gentlemen, I feel so bad. I feel so bad because this bull market cycle has commenced already. And there are going to be a lot of people that miss out on crypto. And a lot of people that miss out on, on a tremendous amount of ROI because simply they have not been paying attention. They lost their patience too early. But every single one of you, I can make you this declaration if you follow me as closely as you need to. In all facets of what I put out to the world, you will become the new 1% this bull cycle. I will improve your lives. I have made legendary life-changing calls for plenty of people. And I have the fucking receipts. And I'm doing it again and again and again this bull market. XRP, my friends, is still stagnating behind, and that's a blessing. Keep it low while the rest of the market continues to show all the signs that we are in a bullish cycle. And my second largest holding that I've told every single one of you about in H bar since 1.8 cents is currently performing a sexy little dance for the entire crypto space. A nine and a half cent H bar is still a life changing opportunity, even though it is a little high right now for my liking. But that's besides the point in 2024. I, I still think we have much higher levels. We're all doing so well. And I'm so proud of you to every single one of you that made it through the bear market. Maybe only got to me later in 2021 and didn't get to see the magic yet. The last bull market cycle was a difficult one to navigate, but this one we're pinpointing with accuracy with 2024 site, and we're already doing great. H bar is just one example, but AGIX is yet another that I've been recommending to all my Udemy students as well as OnlyFans community since eight cents. Recommended it again at 16 cents. And we're doing nothing but printing profits from now on. We haven't even started the bull market and already have multipliers on these entry points. But some of you are over here in comment sections, not paying attention, projecting your negative energy to me as if I give a solitary fuck. People's opinions do not pay my fucking bills. My work ethic and ability to do research pay my bills. And this bull market, I'm going to pay all of yours if you follow me closely enough. XRP will not disappoint this bull market cycle. And every narrative we've been talking about on this channel has become a reality. XRP is now the only crypto on the planet with full regulatory clarity and the halving isn't even priced in yet. This is where Bitcoin was in 2012, 2016, 2020, and right now it's forming a similar pattern. Let's see if we can make it. I think we will. But in regards to XRP specifically, XRP was clearly suffering through an SCC bullshit lawsuit meant to slow down XRP progress and get weak paper hand retail investors out and good riddance. The soft paper hands can leave this channel and the community. XRP is still going to go up with or without you. I'm sorry that we were unjustly targeted. But now we have balls of steel. 2024 will be worth all that we went through. And now they're on the verge of passing crypto laws. As Elizabeth Warren and her anti-crypto army are being dragged through Congress, through the Senate. And in the United States, we're realizing the corruption. Here, we have a video from Perry Ann. Discussing how Elizabeth Warren misled Congress in her effort to end crypto in America. Be careful, Warren. Everything you're saying now can and will be used against you.
positively for the crypto space. It's important that the industry understands that in the Senate, Elizabeth Warren has put forward a bill that would effectively ban this industry in the United States. Um, she has really misconstrued what this legislation does. She doesn't um, purport it to be a ban. She calls it an anti-money laundering regulatory fix. Uh, for crypto, which really is just is very misleading um, because it puts unworkable requirements on the technology itself. Uh, she's been able to recruit 19 co-sponsors uh, to this bill. So we have 19% of the U.S. Senate today is on record wanting to effectively ban cryptocurrencies in the United States. We are facing an existential threat today in Washington. It is absolutely critical that the community participates in the political process and ensures that anti-crypto politicians are not elected into office because they are out there, they are targeting us, and they don't think we have a right to exist. And if we don't show up, if we don't participate, we have everything to lose as a community. And ladies and gentlemen, I 100% agree. I think 2024 is going to be the year that marks the activation of the crypto community and the crypto space into legislation, into lobbying, into getting the good regulations on our side again. Our voices will be heard this election cycle, I promise you. And man, John Deaton going up against Elizabeth Warren is one of those things I'm looking at as a turning point, symbolically for the industry ripples complete annihilation of the sec and ultimate damages that they'll have to pay are going to be concluding within a couple weeks and with that being said xrp continues to have full clarity in america and we have the catalyst for the next bull run on our side this bull market has a strong possibility of lasting another 12 to 18 months. As stated by Matrix Ports' Marcus Thielen. And I do believe that this time around, in 2024 to 2025, we are going to experience a similar 2017 style bull run super cycle. That will make multi-millionaires out of the other side of this. Especially if you're here right now. And you don't have to listen to me say it. Listen to what the smartest people in the industry are letting you know is about to happen. Expect the immediate and long-term uh, price reaction for Bitcoin to be. Well, I think we, you know, we kind of rally into into this halving uh, because everybody gets, you know, geared up. Of course, Bitcoin has reclaimed the one trillion. Um, you know, market cap, which is, of course, you know, a massive number. Um, but I think when you run really kind of like the bands around the halving, I think you realize that if you would have bought around 300 to 400 days before the halving and held for an equal amount, you really captured most of kind of the bull market periods. And crypto or Bitcoin itself went through a bull market in, in 20. 11 in 2013 in 2017 and in 2021 but the key factor is how do you kind of like capture the, the entry and the exit timing and the entry and exit timing is around 300 to 400 days uh, again before the halving as well as after the halving so what the halving actually indicates you know it, it of course indicates there is you know less bitcoin being mined and historically what we have seen is actually that miners restricting the flow onto exchanges. So basically, you know, they're kind of like little, you know, I guess reverse cornering the market and that has caused the Bitcoin price to go up. But I think the interesting aspect is really, I think what's, what's more critical here is that it, that it indicates this bull market might last another 12 to 18 months. And I think this is quite significant. Now, my friends, what I continue to view as significant is the fact that this bull run and these old coins are awakened dabbling in the crypto market with the smaller cap coins is my specialty and it's where i've made my most money in specifically you know what's so funny is that i talk about xrp every day but xrp is not even the crypto that changed my life the last cycle it was cardano 
it was H bar, it was quant, it was theta, it was a few others. But it's important to know that we are still in the early stages of the old coin cycle and there's still plenty of ROI to be made if you put the pedal to the metal in regards to listening humbly. Don't be arrogant. I am genuinely here to help and serve every single one of you. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been working on a super video that will be an aggressively average podcast episode. And it's been taking a little longer than expected because getting all the information together in the most beautiful and artistic way possible that'll make it palatable for all of you to ingest has been my number one priority. And I guarantee you it will be your favorite piece of work for me yet. In addition, I have to remind you that my free course that I've been working on for a while is about to get released. We are here right now at this moment in time where you can most take advantage of the ROI from this market. And I'm going to show you all the principles that I used and all the mistakes I've made so that you can bypass all of that and make your way to becoming the new 1%. Guys, in this one video, I showed you in the beginning how I'd recommended this for eight cents to people. And when I first started this video, it was at 45 cents. Now it's at 53. More opportunities like this are still at rock bottom levels and you just need to grind. You just need to find them. You just need to know that now is the bull market cycle. A lot of people will like to laugh and say, hi, you've been wrong about XRP. And even though XRP underperformed, it still went up 20x from its bottom in the bear market. This time around, we'll get that ROI from XRP, but also from other coins that may very well have more ROI than XRP. You got to tap in because all I'm looking to do is conquer and take advantage of this market this time around and I hope all of you savages join me on this journey because it is the path to becoming the new 1% ladies and gentlemen this is the bearable bull here thanks for tuning in As always, I appreciate every single one of you. Now I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Hot tips will ruin you. If you want to be a successful investor, be boring. Please get some experience and please focus on what you already know. Don't listen to hot tips. We're all going to be down at the bar on Saturday. And I promise you, at least 10 people are going to come over and say, you know, let me tell you about this company. Let me tell you about this stock. It is going to go through the roof. It is the best thing since sliced bread. You should buy this stock. And if you don't listen to him, don't worry. Someone else will come over and give you a hot tip. Please ignore them. It is not a good sign when you go to the dentist and the receptionist talks, he wants to talk to you about stocks. Don't get excited when everybody's excited. And please, if everybody's depressed, you should get excited. Emotions do usually do not help when you're trying to make investment decisions. We're all human beings and we all have emotions, which can be a negative. Being cold-blooded and heartless can be useful if you are going to be a successful investor. Everybody should learn to only invest in what you yourself know a lot about. Don't listen to other people. Don't listen to hot tips. I mean, everybody watching this knows a lot about something. Fashion, sports, cars, something. And that's where you should focus. If I told you you only had 25 investments in your lifetime, you would be careful. You wouldn't jump in and out. Every time you heard a hot story, you wouldn't invest. 
would be very careful and you would be successful. I know everybody thinks this is easy. It's never been easy for me. So please focus, concentrate, be disciplined and wait until you find a good opportunity yourself. People will say, oh, that's boring. Be boring. If you want to be a successful investor, be boring. Diversification is not going to make you rich. Diversification is something that brokers came up with to protect themselves. <laughs> so you, they won't sue you. And if they sue you, they won't win because you diversify. If you want to get rich, you focus. You put all of your eggs in one basket. You better be sure it's the right basket. And you better watch that basket very, very closely. But that's how you get rich. Henry Ford didn't diversify. Thomas Watson didn't diversify. These guys put all their eggs in the right basket and got very rich. Is the problem with success is you think you know what you're doing. You think you're smart. You get cocky. You get arrogant. I learn more from my mistakes than I do from my successes.